Museum, so quite a setting here for the compound bronze medal match. On a gorgeous Saturday afternoon, and our first match features Marcella Tonioli against Vita Alemian of Iran. The bronze medal match with an archer from Italy and an archer from Iran. Of course, Halimian dropped her semifinal match to Christy Collin, 136 to 131. And it was Marcella Tonioli losing to Erica Anschutz. Anschutz with a convic convincing victory over Marcella Tonioli. So now they have to shake that off. And you talk about sh staying in the moment and shooting each arrow, one arrow after the next, and forgetting about the last one. They also have to forget about the last match, don't they, Torben? Exactly, exactly. I bet you the coaches has been out, uh, out on the practice field, uh, maybe just getting in, uh, in a tent out of the sun, but uh, I, I would expect them to, to have been over at the practice field shooting some arrows, just getting the feeling back of just doing it, you know, without the pressure and all that. And uh, the main thing for the coach has been to, to like getting the fire back in the archers to tell them, hey, you're still in, you still got a, a bronze medal to win and uh, try to get them to f not forget mm -hmm. that previous match, but, but to, to take the good things out of the match and, and, and remember that and uh, try to remember the feeling of the win and all that so that they can correct for it. Well, there's still a lot at stake for these two young ladies as Marcella Tonioli on the right squares off against Vida Halimian of Iran. And again, Halimian one of the first two archers to ever compete in the World Cup Finals. Reaching the bronze medal match where she starts off with a, a liner for a 10. Pretty good start. And Tonioli falling behind by one. And eight for Halimian, who won two team medals on the World Cup circuit back in 2010. Also won a gold medal at last year's World University Championships in China. And a nine for Tonioli, who started in this sport at the age of eight. Introduced to archery by a teacher, and there's a strong shot right there. Two tens in that first end for Halimian. Tony only trying to keep pace. Yeah, I just saw her adjust her sight a little bit, but apparently that wasn't enough as the arrow is in the same level as the two previous ones. So, so a consistent end of three nines for Marcella Tonioli, 25 years old from Italy, but she falls behind by one as Vita Halimian has a pair of bullseyes, 28 points, and goes up 28-27. And there's her Iranian teammate, Mahtab Parsimir, who had a tough time in the quarterfinals, but has seemingly forgotten about that by now and enjoying the moment, enjoying the afternoon here and trying to cheer her teammate on to victory in this bronze medal match. That's what it's all about. After all, when it's all done, there's only one winner. Tonioli with an eight. And a nine for Vida Halimian. Nine more points for Tonioli who's shown an ability to come from behind in her career. And we'll have to do it this afternoon as Holly Mian also scores nine. The third and final arrow of the second end for the Italian archer. 
Antonioli finishes off in fine fashion. Finally, she got it in there. As does her opponent. As does she, yeah. That's correct. So a great match going on. But here again, in again if we should look a little bit on the, on the two archers' arrows on the placement on the yellow spot down there, you see the Iranian girl, they have the same score of 110, two nines, but the Iranian girl is hanging low. So that means if she gets a little bit more sloppy on her shot, it'll drop down, way down. Where Antoli, she's shooting high in the 10, like in the middle or a little high. So she can make a little mistake and drop a little bit and it'll still get the 10 ring in the bottom. So mm -hmm. I definitely would prefer my archer to shoot like uh, the Italian girl is doing right now. A little bit high in the 10. In the 10. Yeah. We'll see if the tide turns here for Tonioli. There it was. There, just what you were talking drop, about, Torben. But it's still in, so that's mm -hmm. perfect. He was a two-point lead for Halimian to start this third end, and Halimian. Nice shot you got pulled off there. Very nice shot. Tony Oli trying to hang with Halimian who went ahead by one after the first end, added a point lead to her total after two ends. Led 56 Ooh. to 54, and there is a shot way off the mark, and even she has to, to laugh about that one. Well, that's all you can do because that was a very bad shot. Nothing was right in that one. Occasionally they get away from you. Uh, and Tony Oli, <laughs> not able to take <laughs> as much advantage of it as she'd like. No. That was a huge opening she got there. But then again, the door is still open. I think she said thank you for that round. <laughs> so Tony Oli actually picks up, should pick up about three points there in that end. Yeah, you see, saw the uh, Iranian girl. She was still smiling when the coach was talking to her. I bet she knows exactly what was going on and I can only guess, but uh, maybe the release let the arrow go before she was really in the, the anchoring position where she could aim for, for real. So uh, I guess she was barely 80% ready to take the shot when the shot went off. So she just tells herself that, okay, that was bad and let's go uh, continue. She doesn't think any more about that one. So Halimian trying to forget about the six and the eight that she shot with her last two arrows. And it is a three point swing. She goes from being two up to being one down, but that gets her back into contention. That's nice to see that after a bad round, she starts out with a 10. And a nine for Tonioli. She's going a little bit to the left. Yeah, she's doing adjustment now. That's good. So we're all even at 90 points apiece. Now a nine for Halimian. So back and forth we go in the alternating shooting style. Head-to-head -head competition. In the World Cup Finals here in Istanbul, another nine just inside the line. Ouch. Oh. That scored a nine. It Look Did, didn't bad look good to you when it looked no. That looked bad. I could tell from your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> and with the ship. Still a little bit to the right for the Italian. Well, Tony only hoping the ship comes in for her, <laughs> <laughs> so to speak. So after four ends, these two archers are exactly where they were when the whole match started tied up at 108 so anything can happen on these final three arrows as tony Oli and halimian think about what they need to do in this fifth and final end to win the bronze medal here in istanbul ain't it just wonderful i bet you the hands are shaking now so let's see who can control the nerves the best because that's going to be the winner in this match. But as you said earlier, Torben, it's, it's the archer that embraces the challenge exactly. and channels that energy yep. that usually comes out on top. Yep. 
It is. She can put the pressure Talking on. Talking about on top. That was a high nine. So a nine for Halimian. Antonioli with an eight. And still to the left side. So Halimian up by one right now. With another nine. Antonioli needing a ten right now to tie the match up again. There got you it. got the 10. <laughs> Had to have it. She ties the match. Great battle going on here in Istanbul. Oh, yeah. A nine. And a nine. So that does open the door for Tony Oli. And she's won matches this way. I bet you she doesn't feel much pressure now. A 10 to win. 10 wins it. And, and she got it. it. Is. 10 it is. How oh, about that? That's wonderful. Tony Oli with another come from behind victory and a big bear hug right there. And while it may not be gold, that's got to feel good. It definitely feels gold. I would say the worst place to end up is fourth. That means you lost the last two <laughs> rounds of competition. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> but what a battle between this young lady, Vida Halimian of Iran. But I would like to say that uh, I, I like to see that uh, Iranian girl in a year or two, and mm -hmm. I guess she's going to be there a lot more than than we've seen her so far. But um, I think she should need she needs to be a little bit stronger in her shooting. It, well, she came her in. Her shooting style works perfect in uh, mm -hmm. when the wind is is, is calm. Mm -hmm. But as soon as the wind picks up, it is almost for sure that the strong shooters are going to take the, the, the match home because able to cope with the conditions.